Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day in the life. Frank and I are back out at this camp, gonna do a little detecting. Got the Lou Ferrigno of metal detecting over here. You have quite the Canadian fan base, Frank, by the way. <laughs> Sounds like a bullet. Oh, there it is right there. Civil War mini ball. That's all it takes to make a great day in the life right there. That's another drop, so that's a great indicator. Hopefully we'll find a couple more. Frank got him a silver spoon. At least we're pretty sure it's silver. And I think it's period. Let me see. It's got these hallmarks on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says G Catlin. And there's these little hallmarks right here. Looks like a crown over an S. I don't know, a little triangle. But I'm fairly confident that's silver. It's fine to the day so far. So far, so good. He's over there finding silver spoons, and I'm finding iron ones. <laughs> that's about the way my luck goes. piece of iron that was rolling over. Yeah, there it is. Big square nail. I don't know if I'm right or not, but it looks like a little piece of brass in the hole. I'm pretty sure I just smashed the mess out of it with my shovel, but let's see if we can get it out of there without messing up too much more here. It's probably just a shotgun shell by the looks of it, or a grommet, but I want to be extra careful just in case. Nope, that is a brass cartridge from a Civil War bullet. I believe that's a Spencer. Very nice. Well, there's Frank up on the hill. And I just had a, a good signal in here, and it was kind of chasing it around the edge of the hole, and look at that. There is a button. Another cuff button. I'm assuming it's going to be another eagle, but there's a lot of gilt, so I don't want to mess with it. It actually looks a little different than an eagle. You're not going to spit on it, are you? No, oh, okay. I think yeah. I'll leave this one. I can't tell if that's an eagle or not. Looks like the shank's gone, whatever it is. Maybe it's there. Pulled it over. But, uh, so I'll give it a quick rub. Might as well. You can't resist. Can't resist rubbing it. It's a flower button. Oh, Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a good sign. There's probably a couple more laying right in here. It looks like the shank's on there, just bent over. So, there's probably going to be a couple more in here. I've switched to the pulse machine now and just picking through the good and the bad. But any day you can pull a button out is a great day in the life. So, going to keep at it. What do you think? Interesting. 
it's either like a finial off of a cat box or a teardrop bullet it's lead I don't know it's a good find whatever it is yeah it's yeah. either off of a cartridge or cat box or it's a, a, a teardrop bullet I'm I would lean towards cartridge or cat box finial made out of lead which might make it confederate I don't know either that or it's like a weird bullet like a trainer or, I don't know I'll look when we get home and look, look. I, I haven't seen any of that bulbous though and then a weird ring I, I think that's going to be like off of a cap or box or a cartridge Good find. Just gotta pick through the track. Another signal here. I'm on the phone with Zach Bird. We're talking YouTube. Picking through this trash is working really well. There is another button. That's two buttons for the day. I don't know if this one's got anything on it. It looks like just a plain flat button, but. I will take it being out here in the middle of the Civil War camp digging relics makes for a great day. Actually, it looks like there's an eagle on it. Hold on. No, that's my imagination. It's a flat button. Alright, back to my conversation with Zach. Civil War paintbrush. <laughs> Maybe a little bit post. Look at that. That is the end off of a scabbard, a bayonet scabbard. That might even be what that little lead piece was Frank found. That might be the tip of this. Excellent. Civil War relics coming out of the ground. You just gotta hunt slow in here. So many signals. Oh, that makes me happy. Very nice. Turning out to be a pretty good day in the life. There's a little round ball that just came out of the ground just a few feet from that bayonet scabbard tip. So, still signals in here. You just gotta really pick through all this iron. It's tough with this pulse machine. But it's uh, turning out to be worth it because the AT Pro is not reading nearly as deep as the pulse machine. So. I'm gonna keep at it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna go home. Cook some dinner for Cassie Lee. It's got another signal here, it was real faint. And I got it out of the ground. It looks like it's going to be another button. Of some sort. Let me clean this up for a second. See if we can tell what we've got here. Wow, this one's a four hole underwear button. And it has some writing around it. It says New York. Let's see if I can make it out. It says Crony Lint and Company, New York. You can't really see them right now, but there are four little holes here. Let's see if I can clean the back up. 
Right here we can kind of see the four little holes there. So that was an underwear button. Probably lost by one of these Civil War soldiers. Another great indicator that we are in a camp. I'm going to research that company when I get home and I'll be able to tell when that company dates to. So another great find. Well I didn't film it because it didn't exactly sound right but if you look right there is a bullet from the American Civil War. That's another drop. So yet another great indicator that we are in fact in the camp. Finding buttons, finding brass, finding drop bullets. So it's a great day in the life. I think I can pretty safely say I am in the camp that I've been looking for. Although there's a bunch of camps right around here, but this is one I've been looking for. Super excited. Another great day in the life. I hope you have had a great day in the life. See you tomorrow.